My name is Jamie Hilligans, and I am a small business owner here in North Central Kentucky. I have a, a consulting business, and then I also have a goat farm. And uh, not getting into too much personal information, but I will be 50 this year. And so basically my entire adult life I have associated with Republicans. I'm, I'm not a, uh, you know, a lawyer, I'm not a historian, and I'm certainly not a politician. I'm really just more of an ordinary person, just trying to get by like everybody else. So I think I have in my mind what those uh, Republican and conservative values are. I have had challenges with President Trump um, even before he was elected. Um, his behaviors of uh, abusing and dishonoring and disrespecting, you know, citizens who are who are you know war heroes and veterans, um, folks that work in federal government or state government that have served their entire careers and are well respected people are abused by this man, you know, whether you're in a personal relationship, a one-on-one relationship, or a family member with an abuser, this is who the president of our country is, is he is an abusive person. I don't care what administration, if they're Republicans or Democrats or what have you, these types of behaviors should not be allowed. It shocks me every day. What I don't understand is why the rest of the Republican leadership is not taking responsibility and standing up against this man who does not reflect um, and, and is not taking action that represents the majority of Republicans in this country. I mean, to be honest, I don't really associate or agree with some of the more liberal views and values of the Democratic Party. But what I do see, um, just basic decency, um, basic honesty, and basic integrity. In this November, I choose to vote for the straight Democratic ticket. The Republican Party no longer aligns with my personal values. I'm just completely fed up and I do not want to associate myself with those types of people going forward.